on the way from York? Well, I mean, the, the main interest is the relationship of safety and security in the context of autonomous systems. I, I run a big program on assurance of autonomous systems and safety and security interactions there, I think, bring some particular challenges. Okay. And um, why, is it, why is safety versus security so important? I mean, I think that there are two um, primary reasons. I think people have understood for some time that exploitation of security vulnerabilities can have a safety impact. I think with modern complex systems, the relationships are even more demanding and that safety problems can impact security and vice versa. And we really don't have good enough techniques for dealing with that complexity. And I just want to expose that to some of the people here, perhaps to be able to foster some collaborations on, on work in that area. I think there are many, but probably the easiest one to, to explain is many modern autonomous systems use um, machine learning as a way of developing their capability. All our standards for assuring software in safety critical and security critical systems assume we have a more classical development process where we write specifications, develop code against that. Those don't work in this new world where we use uh, machine learning. But also if systems continue learning in operation, then our assumption that we can do safety or security assessment before the systems are deployed no longer is true and we have to find a way of doing continuous assurance. Okay. And um, why, why do you think cyber security is so difficult to implement? I think because we are moving so fast uh, and that we are struggling to develop technologies to be functionally effective, so actually looking at security or indeed safety as an additional thing um, it is quite a long way down people's priorities, so they, you know, they focus on making it work first. The problem is if you do that, because safety and security problems need to be built in, you've made a big commitment to a product without having addressed some of the fundamental issues. And I think that's what makes it hard. It's a, it, it, it's a managerial and economic issue as much as a technical one. Okay. And do you think there's value in bringing people together in a workshop like this for Yes, hugely. I, I think one of the problems is you need skills from a wide range of domains. You need fundamental thinking on some of these issues, but also you need to address the pragmatics of building real systems. Unless you have that sort of collaboration across academic disciplines and between universities and industry, you're not going to be able to solve those problems in an effective way. So yeah, I think this is absolutely vital to do.